All right, I wasn't gonna post this video until next week, but I've gotten a lot of questions about, you know, money-wise investment and everything like that. So I just wanna throw this out there as well. Trailer's not done. Obviously, I need a ladder rack, um, and it's not just gonna be any run-of-the-mill uh, over-the-counter ladder rack. I've I got a special, like a special one that I need. I'm trying to source it, but it's got a ducktail in the back. That way, if you lean anything against it, it's not gonna hit the actual trailer. It's gonna hit the actual ladder rack that's gonna have, uh, I'll, I'll have another video of that later on, but ladder rack, and then obviously um, the ladder in the front for access and then solar on the roof. Um, but that's going to be the main, you can see how dirty it is, but uh, that's going to be the main uh, additions for next year. Uh, because other than that, I think it's pretty much, I'm not going to say it's done, but I'm just going to work out of it and enjoy it. So enjoy this video. If you have any other questions about pricing, put them in the comment section. Thank you. How's everybody doing? All right. So... Uh, I'll probably post a video here soon, um, depending on when, when the other video goes up. But uh, about this trailer, about you know the build out from start to finish with some pictures. And I know I'm getting a bunch of questions about how much I have invested in it and how much everything costs. So I'm gonna go over that. Um, got some receipts, and I also just kind of looked it up. What you know today's market value today being November or November December 2019. So that's when these prices are valid. Um, so I'm going to go over these, uh, my prices, what I have invested in this thing. Um, just rough, nothing tools related. I'm not talking about what it costs for tools to build this stuff out or anything like that. This is just materials and that's it. Um, and my labor because obviously you charge yourself. <laughs> so if I'm building this out, then I'm not making money for my business and, you know, supporting the family. So it does cost money for sure. But uh, I'll explain that here in a second, how, what I kind of figured what it, it cost me. So... Um, the trailer itself costs uh, 6821 even. That's tax, title, um, licensing, all that good stuff here in the state of Michigan. Um, that's for a 7x16x6 by by six foot 8 interior height, all aluminum trailer, uh, 7,000 pound tandem axle. So I will link in the description the build, uh, the, uh, my, uh, the other trailer videos I have. So I think if I have three or four of them, so I'll link them in the description. Um, that way you guys can see like the, the tour and everything. This is not a tour by any means I'm just gonna explain show you and tell you guys just a raw numbers quick and easy painless uh, Plywood uh, I've got sixteen hundred and fifty two dollars and thirty five cents in plywood in this baby uh, Now I did you can see it's birch. It's all birch except for this main one right here, which is uh, oak plywood um, Everything else is birch uh, three-quarter half inch and quarter uh, up there, so yeah, that's, I mean, I was kind of, I was like, man, that's a, that's a lot of wood. <laughs> that's, um, fasteners, I use um, Craig fasteners, the Craig jig. So I've got, and then also regular screws, you can see around here, I've got some stainless steel screws. Uh, 8121, but there's obviously, I have extras, because I didn't use all those, so. But 8121 uh, for fasteners. Inverter, I uh, bought it secondhand used for $400, um, and then... Uh, that's the inverter itself. I knew I wanted a 3000 watt inverter 12 volt because I mean I could do 24 volt, but then I'd have to uh, Wire my batteries differently. So 12 volt works just fine. I'm super happy with it batteries I have four exceed batteries. They're 12 volt deep cycle batteries um, and those cost five hundred and sixteen dollars uh, Wiring connections. That's just the low voltage the the, the LED lighting um, and the wiring for the battery itself, the two uh, the two watt gauge or four I think two uh, four four gauge wiring for that, and the um, and the connectors for it too. I've got seventy two twenty nine invested in that uh, lighting. I've got uh, these lights and then also the two puck lights itself. I've got invested one hundred and eighteen thirty six into those. These ones the the these ones right here are real cheap, but the puck lights I bought actually locally, sourced them locally. Um, they're like forty bucks a piece. I believe because I want to be able to not have them turn on when I have the rest of everything turned on so I can turn them on when I need them because there's they uh, they draw a little more voltage and they're obviously a lot brighter um, and low profile being they're you know they're not sticking out like these ones do right here so uh, let's see what I got next here uh, voltage LED meter that was ten dollars and eleven cents off Amazon that's just the voltage meter that tells me how much uh, how much juice I got left in my batteries so uh, what do we got next on off switch the little blue uh, LED on off switch just to turn my lights on and off. I don't have it because uh, there's a switch back here. I, I just don't need it because I'm not going to reach back there and turn anything on. Um, but I just have the one and I rewired it that way. That was $15.68. Um, electrical, the, the 110 outlets, uh, those 
I had those, uh, the 15, I have one 20, and I think uh, the rest of them are 15 um, amp. And then I have two, yeah, two uh, USB, like the four USB ones, and those ones cost me like 30 bucks a piece. So all in total, I used uh, 9687 into those. Uh, and then I obviously I didn't charge myself my own inventory because it's already bought and paid for. So, um, and then that includes my um, all the wiring, you know, all all that stuff right there, the boxes, everything like that. That's included as well. Um, and now I do have about a hundred hours of labor into this entire thing. That's like I've um, you've probably seen the other videos. Super inefficient because I was always just building out one little bit, so I had to set up everything up, set everything up, cut, you know, make my cuts, run out of time, put everything back over and over and over and over again. Um, I kind of ran through it with the plans. I could definitely get this thing built in 50 hours, uh, actual working hours, maybe maybe even less if I actually had the plan where I, you know, if I knew exactly what I wanted to do, I could definitely get it done in 50 hours. Um, how I do that is basically just my overhead is 100 and, that's 170 something dollars a day. So basically that's what I'm losing if I'm not working um, on a customer's job, if I'm just working on my own stuff, that's what I'm losing a day. So I just buy that by the hours, which I came up with, uh, oh, where's it at here? Uh, $1,112.50. Um, that's what it cost me in actual lost time to work on this instead of actually working on a customer's house because of that's my overhead and what it cost me to be in business. That's not making any money. That's just what it cost me for the time I lost. Um, so everything added up. I came up with 10000 nine hundred and three and seventy cents that's what I came up with um, that's gonna be that's gonna be all in that doesn't include um, any of my tools that doesn't include uh, my dual tough system rack that doesn't include I mean anything else you really see here uh, microwave uh, I got got for ten bucks I guess I could throw that in there too so <laughs> And ten thousand nine hundred and thirteen seventy so it's uh, but I got that for ten bucks off um, uh, Facebook marketplace um, everything else I've already had here, so I'm not including, like I said before, I'm not including any tools to build this out. Uh, table saw, miter saw, uh, router, uh, track saw, nothing. I'm not including any of that because I already had that, and that's part of doing business if you're in this kind of business. So uh, that's that's about. I mean, that's gonna that's gonna answer everything. I do. Um, I use. You guys see my track saw storage. That's actually the storage I used um, with the boxes they shipped them in uh, to me. Um, I just basically cut it up and use it for storage because it made it made sense because it's it's obviously stored in those uh, long little boxes. So I just made made use of it, so that's not included. Um, if I'm missing anything here, guys, let me know. I don't think I am. I kind of went through it in my head. Yeah, that's about it. I guess that's uh, obviously the charging station. I already had all those chargers, so I'm not counting that. But obviously, making the box that's still out of the wood. It's still out of the plywood uh, allotment as well. Um, uh, yeah, I mean the battery box is included. Uh, I know you guys will see some um, in some other videos too. The battery box for the the four main batteries um, that is obviously from my scrap metal, uh, scrap metal, scrap uh, wood pile. I did use a lot. There was some scrap because you know trial and error, kind of getting stuff uh, going. Um, I did have some scrap with that uh, plywood, but it is what it is. What are you gonna do? And that is this these prices are not including my uh dual uh, no, dual <laughs> my Polk total station uh modified total station um or my miter saw uh stand itself because or my table saw stand because that's completely different that's not building it out um you probably add a cell uh two you know two or three sheets of plywood for that and um I guess that's about it for this video, guys. Like and subscribe if I've earned it. That's that's you know I can now everybody asks me about what I what it costs to build this baby out. I can tell you it's exactly what it costs. Um, I can just re refer to this video here. Um, so you know two over two years of having it, I believe uh, I've gone through five tires, so a whole complete set plus one one that I uh, got a nail in the sidewall. Um, I've got to replace the chains up front. Uh, they're kind of long and they've been dragging and I, I forgot, so I got to replace those chains as far as maintenance. And I think that's about it. It's been great. Um, and I'll have another video coming out for 2020. This, the improvements I'm going to be doing here. Um, it's just, there's going to be um, a lot of improvements and what you know, my plans are. So stick around for that. That video is coming up uh, before the year end because, well, the year's ending 